Uh, about five years ago, I made a video called Poor Boy's Sawmill. Uh, you may have seen it. Anyway, uh, since that time, I've made some improvements. Now, this is, if you're really desperate, this is the kind of sawmill that you might make. The first one that I came across that I put together would cost about ten dollars. This one's a little more. This will cost you about fifteen dollars to put together. Uh, but if you have some money, I definitely recommend buying a bandsaw sawmill. You'll you'll get a lot more uh, slabs of wood from your lumber that way. But if you don't have the money and you do have a chainsaw. You can do. You can make a poor boy's sawmill. Anyway, this is the improvement that I came up with. It's very simple. Uh, you could uh, make changes to this if, if you like. This is a two by three, and this is a two by four. And you can see I have three eighths inch bolts on both sides, and these three eighths inch bolts are used to hold the log. Now hold on, I'll get a log and I'll show you what I mean. Now, if you use a 2x6 or 2x8 or 2x12 or something like that, then you can make your jig so it's more adjustable. But this is just designed to cut 2 inch slabs of, of lumber. And we're going to do that with a chainsaw. Like this. The only problem is we need something to guide the chainsaw. So that's the next thing we're going to do is we're going to attach a guide to this chainsaw. Now you, you can see I've already taken the liberty to drill a few holes here, and this is what we're going to attach our guide to. Okay. All right. So let's take this out for a minute, and this is our guide. You see that? This is how we attach our guide. I cut little notches on the side to give room for the, the chain to slide by. But uh, now all we have to do is bolt this down. Okay. Now this might look easy, and there's a reason for that. It is, after you get the holes drilled. But the holes are not so easy to drill. This is a very hard steel that they use for the, the bar, the, the chainsaw bar. Uh, so you'll have to start off with some small bits, and they're going to get dull on you. So. You spray it with water to keep the bit cool, and then you might have to sharpen it several times. But once you get your first hole through, um, it becomes easier. Then you, you'll use a, a larger drill bit. So I'm using this for a 3 8 inch bolt. Our guide has finally been nicely supported. Make sure you tighten those nuts up nice and tight. You don't want that slipping, it o slipping off while you're making cuts while well, you're making rip cuts. I wish I had a rip blade. That would make it a little easier. This is just a cross cut blade. Anyway, this will still work. Let's give it a try. First thing we'll have to do is put in our log. Let's do that. Tell you what, let's put our camera right over here. I'm trying to figure out where to put it. Where I don't want to cut my camera up. You wouldn't want that now, would you? No, of course you wouldn't. Okay. So, the first thing we've got to do is put in our log. This is a pretty small log. But well, it makes a nice little two inch plank. Now, this is where our screw eye bolts are used. You can see there's, there's a bolt on either side. 
but we just have to tighten one side like this. That'll push it against here. Okay. And we'll do the same on this end over here. This will hold our log in place. Simple, simple. Okay. Make sure you get that nice and tight. Now I remember why we use this little bolt. Uh, that's so that we don't cut into our 2x4 on this side. This bolt is designed to slide on top of the 2x4 so that the blade of the chainsaw doesn't cut into it. Like that. Okay. You understand that? Okay. Hey, you're better, better than me. Let's see if we can cut this thing now. Without further interruptions. See, we just flip it over. Okay, now we're going to adjust the height of our platform. We're just going to raise the height of our platform up one inch. Just like that. Put our log in. Now we'll have something to cut. I don't advise doing this unless you're one of the unless you're a masochist. You got to be a real masochist to cut lumber this way. And I am. I'm telling you, I am a masochist. So if you're still watching this video, you're a masochist too. Anyway, this is another way of doing it. I'm sure there are lots of ways of cutting lumber. This is one of the harder ways. Anyway, so you tighten that up nice. Make sure everything's tight. You can be a masochist all you want, but I don't want you to get hurt. Okay, start our little chainsaw. important to have a sharp blade and if you're going to do this if you really want to do this you, got, you should get yourself a rip blade and have a, a chainsaw that's dedicated to doing this kind of thing otherwise you might burn out your chainsaw I don't want to push this any further this is a uh, an expensive Herzog Vera chainsaw it's a uh, it's a professional logger type chainsaw it costs about $500 so I'm not going to push it anymore. Anyway, this is what we got. So 
So, if you can do something with this, that's nice. The rest of the millwork you probably do on your bandsaw or your table saw, actually. <laughs>